Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at women who gave the creep a chance. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. We had a terrible date. I wanted to cancel beforehand, but felt guilty doing it. He texted a lot after. I told him straight that I did not feel the same way about him and wait for it. He took it well. He thanked me for being straight with him and for giving him a chance. I hope he found someone. Hey, nice. Why was this guy like labeled a creep though? There's an answer to our question. Okay, there was an incident where he offered to wait to walk me to my car and I declined. I still found him hiding in the shadows waiting for me as I walked out. He almost learned what a stun gun feels like that evening. He claimed he was just so worried about me because he saw some sketchy people outside when he left. Do I know that's what it was for sure? No. I definitely questioned his motives, but I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Ah. Okay. So that was the creepy incident. That is kind of creepy though. You know, someone's like, I'll walk you to your car. And then you're like, no, it's okay. And then you go to your car and then you look behind you and there they are. Yeah. That's kind of creepy. After a few dates, he started to get way too serious. I told him calmly and honestly that I wasn't ready for a serious relationship and he deserved to be with someone who was. He completely flipped out and after a bit of name calling, I stood up and started to leave the bar. He then said, you should watch yourself in the future. <gasps> Especially when getting into your car. Oh my gosh. Wow, this guy is an actual creep. I was extremely paranoid for months after. We checked the back seat and under my vehicle. Never saw him again, so just an empty threat, but not a fun time. That was like 15 years ago. Yeah, he's still single. I can't believe he actually said that. <sighs> well, she should have been like, no, you watch your back next time. You, especially when getting into your house. <laughs> you think you're the creep? No, I'm the creep. <laughs> I bought him a coffee one time and we chatted about our music tastes. Three days later, I was sitting in my dorm and I got a text from him that was just a selfie. I sent one back and the conversation got really boring, so I sent him a snap of a black screen. He responded, are you in a dark place? And I said, yeah, lol. His response was, well, you have to leave soon because you have class in insert building with insert professor at six o'clock. I literally never told him anything about my classes, so he just stalked me until he learned my entire schedule. It turns out he was a serial creep preying on freshman girls. Oh my god, I thought I was going to say serial killer. Oh my gosh, well, serial creep. Why is he, like, still there? Has, like, no one, like, reported him or something? Why is he still lurking around that area? Some people actually have nothing to do. Like, why would you do that in your spare time? You're, like, wasting your life's time, okay? Life's not that long, mate. <laughs> I had a bad vibe, but my friend told me he was a good guy. So we went on a date and he asked to drive my car. He curbed my rims and talked about how he was fired unfairly from his job. The next weekend, I avoided his calls and instead went out to dinner with friends. While I was gone, he broke into my apartment. My neighbors and the cops were waiting outside when I got home. I spent the night at my mom's. He showed up at 3 a.m. and they let him out and was trying to get in a window. Wonderful officer spent the rest of the night in the driveway. Fast forward a couple weeks and he shows up at my work. Mopes over to me and hands me folded papers. It was 8 to 10 handwritten front and back notebook papers where he alternated between telling me I was the love of his life to why he hated me and wished I would die. I was terrified. Security escorted him away. Never saw him again but found out later he did the same thing to some girl but he was able to actually get in and it landed her in the hospital. He broke into some other girl's house and just assaulted <laughs> it's always the nice guys who are like i'm the best for you i would never do anything wrong okay like i'm the one for you i don't understand how you can't see that i'm so nice when i'm just nice to you like i can't see why you don't see that i'm nice yeah i should stop with that anyways i hope this guy is like locked up or something jeez on our first date, he told me he loved me and that he would let me pick out the colour of our house. The rest of the evening was super awkward. I never talked to him again. Why do some people think that's a good idea? Like on the first date, they're just like, you know, when we get married in the future, I'll let you do this. I'm so sweet, ain't I? Like, no, no, that's creepy as. Met him when I worked as a cashier in a small downtown shop. Wasn't my type, but seemed a little off. 
but I was young and had zero real dating experience. I agreed to grab coffee as a friend and made it clear I didn't have a romantic interest. He became convinced he was Gatsby and I was Daisy. <laughs> the Great Gatsby film had just come out that year. Started stalking me and endlessly sending letters and gifts to me at work describing how we were fate to be together. When I confronted him to stop, he started having his friends follow me at work or drop by to check in on me. His friends were in on it too? Dude, his entire circle of friends are creeps. Why would you even agree to do that if you were someone's friend, right? Why don't you call them out on like the bullcrap? Like, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing that? That's freaking creepy. Don't do that. Why are they like, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I will check up on her for you. You know, I'll tell you what she's doing every minute. I'll do that for you. Dude, why? Okay, proud outside on nights, I had to close shop alone. I ended up quitting that job and things fizzled. Seven months later, I got a call from a number I didn't recognize. It was the same dude. He just got released from a short prison sentence and was letting me know he thought of me every day and was going to find me so we could finally be together. That's freaking creepy. I made up a story that I was traveling abroad for college and would be gone indefinitely. Changed my number and luckily I haven't heard from him again. <gasps> Thank God, but dude, at the back of my mind, I'm just always going to be thinking like, you know, he's going to be there somewhere, somehow. Okay, I'm just more shocked that his friends helped him do that too. Like we already hear so many stories about like creeps doing this, that it doesn't like faze me that much anymore. But to know that their friends support them and to help them do it, is just shocking to me. Why? He tried to kidnap my sister in an attempt to get me to get back together with him. I knew it was a mistake from the moment I said yes, and it was just downhill from there. What in the world? So he pretty much used the sister as like ransom. Why is he not in jail though? Like, oh wait, he tried to kidnap, but still, isn't that like attempted kidnapping or something? I don't know what it is, but shouldn't that like land him in trouble? Why did no one call the police, man? I walked in on him peeing in my washing machine after letting him in my home for some reason. What the? Pretty sure the washing machine is close to the toilet, right? You can just go piss in the toilet. This guy was handsome, but way too into me for knowing nothing about me. It wasn't like when we spoke, I was an open book or felt a strong connection that would lead me to want to share information with him. This was not a, I feel like I've known this man forever connection. I just thought this was a normal dating, but had a gut feeling something was off. He talked to me like I'd been his girlfriend for months. We went on three dates, never even had sex. After the third date, I had made my decision based on our short time getting to know one another and let him know I had no interest in continuing to date and that I didn't see us being compatible long term. He then locked me in his car, proceeded to ask if I wanted to move to California with him and started crying and begging me to work this out. Why? How, how does... Okay, dude, I'm just... Why... How do some people get so attached after three dates though? I tried to be very nice, but it got to the point I was scared and wasn't sure how this was going to go since he was virtually a stranger. So I hit his dashboard and said if he didn't let me out the car immediately, I was calling the police. He finally let me out after like an hour or two, but stayed in the parking lot of my apartment almost the entire night and called me nonstop. About a month later, he texted me out of the blue a really long paragraph apologizing profusely and saying if I ever changed my mind to call him. I said thanks for the apology and wished him well. Hope he's doing okay, but I wanted no part of that. Oh, she's so nice. She's still like wishing him well. That's actually so scary though. Someone locking you in that car and not letting you go out. <sighs> what is going through their minds? Honestly, if someone says that it want to be with you. It's not gonna work out even if you beg them. He stalked me. He made videos of himself crying because I broke his heart after him knowing me for a month. He told everyone I was just a fat beep who used men. I gave him a whole month and every time I would hang out, he would keep me up until 3am crying that I didn't love him. It was bad. Oh, jeez, what the? I can't help but like kind of feel bad for them because I feel like something probably happened in their lives for them to like be like this. But it doesn't excuse the behavior, like, for sure, right? But it just makes me think, like, what happened? Like, why are they like this? He stalked me for almost eight months, and I still do not want to know how he got my address. I was 19, he was 31. God, I was so naive. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. Like, even if they are legal age, 
Yeah. Most of the times, that's a red flag. I mean, like, obviously, it doesn't matter once you're, like, 30 and you date someone 40, you know? Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!